this morning's job I should give a little background on what we're doing the compressor was changed the evaporator was changed and I was called out here because of a home sale inspection that said on um, we had a low temperature drop and we did the best I could get was 10 degrees and after about an hour of troubleshooting I found that I had high head low suction high subcooling and low superheat um, this is an R22 system but I could not verify which Freon was in it totally I think it was 422 I mean that was the closest I could come to but um I did not think it was a TXV I think it was the Freon giving me troubles I had about a 30 to 40 percent capacity loss and it was not because of a dirty coil. I mean, that's a little bit dirty, but that's not my reason. I believe my reason was my Freon. So I recovered the Freon. We're pulling the vacuum. And we're going to recharge this with um, Virgin R22. I'm debating how low to go with my vacuum. This system was never open to the atmosphere. I'm just wanting to remove all the old Freon. Shooting for 500. <clears throat> I already have pressure on this. I pulled down to 500. It took me forever because the system had a little bit of oil trap Freon in it. So we are fixing to start this thing up, charge it. It takes 8.31 pounds, 133 ounces, I think it was. And um, see if it does better, if I get better pressures and whatnot. We got it started up. I said factory charge was 8.3 pounds and I got about a 50 foot line set so um, I'm expecting at least 9 pounds but I'm on shoot for target self cooling and super heat recharge in I'm going to let all this liquid get pulled in and we'll look at pressures again. Almost where I need to be. I've got a 15 degree superheat, 10 degree subcooling. I am almost where I need to be. I'm gonna charge this up and then we can do a temp drop. All the last one I was just on that had the problem with the Freon. I couldn't get video inside, but I was able to verify that I got a 15 to 16 degree temp drop. I had proper subcooling and superheat. My pressures were fine. So I don't know if that Freon had been mixed with something, but um, pulling that out and replacing it with R22 fixed my problem that's um, I've never had a problem with R422 like that so I think there was something else going on <laughs> 